Dak Prescott for the season, some think Dallas is still in a good position this year. Former NFL QB Bruce Gretkowski of Pro Football Focus said with Dalton starting, quote, I don't expect the offense to drop off at all. I expect it to play better. Andy is more experienced at pre-snap protection. So, Shannon, can you see Dalton making the Cowboys offense actually better this season? No. I don't look at Andy Dalton and being better at anything than what Dak Prescott is. Not pre-snap, not throwing the football from the move, not changing platforms, not athletic ability. Nothing do I see Andy Dalton better at than one Dak Prescott. Uh, so for me, I think the offense will probably look a little different, Skip. I think they're going to play through Zeke more, especially starting off. And if they fall behind, then they will ask Andy Dalton. The thing is, Skip, is that when you play going to a game, if the quarterback is not nicked up, you take no reps worried about the backups. That's why sometimes the backups can come off the bench when the starter gets injured and play really well. You're like, oh, man, look at him. And then all of a sudden, guess what? They get that tape. They go back and look at tapes as games and where he started. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, okay, this is what we're going to do. So now moving forward, <clears throat> teams will have game film on Andy Dalton. What he, his strengths. Let's keep him away from that. Let's try to funnel him towards the weaknesses. And so we'll get an opportunity to see. But I disagree with Bruce Gretkowski. I do not believe that Andy Dalton is better at anything. Not pre-snap, not post-snap, not ability to throw the football, not completion percentage, not QBR. He's not better than Dak at anything. So I vehemently, mm. strongly, mm. In, the, in the harshest sense, mm. disagree with everything he said. Well, that would make Andy Dalton pure garbage. No, in your no, eyes. I'm not saying that. Because but... you are the guy who, over the last 13 games last year, you gave my guy Dak Prescott seven Fs, as in flunk, as in fail. And over the last seven games last year, Andy Dalton won no games, mm. so he got less than he got lower than Fs. Okay, so I just said, so you're reducing Andy Dalton to garbage. No, I'm just saying he's not better than Dak Prescott. I'm just disagreeing. Okay. <sighs> I tend to agree with you. I thought this was a little over the top from Bruce Gradkowski, who likes Andy Dalton because he backed up Andy Dalton for the first couple of years it's Andy was in Cincinnati. Correct. And he just likes what he saw because his point was that in the biggest games that team played, which are not like America's team style <laughs> games, but in the biggest game those Cincinnati teams played, in the biggest situation, says Bruce Gradkowski, he always stayed the same. He always was very even keeled. And I don't doubt that the moments that he's going to face this year as the quarterback of America's team will be too big for him. Do I think he's better than Dak in any way, shape, or form? I do not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about cover, um, uh, protections, whether he could call. I, I don't know. Has he been around? Has he played more games than Dak? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Did he win Rose Bowl MVP his last year at TCU when they went 13-0 and after going 12-1? and His right. That would have been his junior year? Yep. He right. did that. Did he average double-digit wins for his first five years in the NFL for talented Cincinnati teams with a lot of weapons? Yep, he did that. Did he make three Pro Bowls? Yep, he did that. Right. What was the stats here that Bruce Gradkowski gave us uh, about game-winning drives? I think he's... Um, he also said Andy's athletic enough to extend plays, and we did see a flash yes. of that on Sunday. Uh, he's not Dak, but he's not unathletic. Right. He has 22 fourth-quarter comeback victories, third most since 2011. So he's done this a little bit before. Right. So you got to give him some credit. I do believe he's the most qualified backup quarterback in the league right now. I'm not, I'm and, not, and I'm so, not arguing So that. you got a shot with him. So how can you be a little better with him? What's the only way that that can happen? All I know is that Dak Prescott in the first four games this year threw for more yards than any quarterback in the history of this league yes. through the first four yes. games. And what did it get my team? Nothing. It got them nothing it, because it they should have been 0-4, yes. right? Yes. Okay. That had a lot to do with the worst defense in pro football. Correct. And it had even more to do with turnover ratio. And I know a lot of fans just say, uh, plug my ears up or close my eyes when you talk about it. But it's just these stats. If you it turn defines it over, you. If you, don't, if you turn it over and you don't get turnovers, you're going to lose. You just are. Every year it defines <laughs> the champion yes. and it defines who's going to get the first overall especially pick. Especially, Skip, when you turn it over. Okay. All turnovers are not created equal. You turn it over twice in the fourth quarter as opposed to twice in the first quarter, mm. you're probably going to lose those games. Okay. <laughs> My team is minus eight. It's by far the worst in yeah. the league. So that should indicate to you who they are right. or who they're not. Right. <sighs> is it possible that Andy Dalton 
can at least become enough of a game manager that he'll clean that up a little bit? Maybe, maybe, because you would hope that they would execute early feeding Zeke because you got to feed the beast. You, you got to, again, the, I think they're going to cater to your, your whole mantra about who the Cowboys should be. Right. They should be Zeke's team. Right. Well, guess what? They just be, maybe by desperation, they, they have to be Zeke's But here's Zeke's the thing, team. though, Skip. In order for you to definitively say that Andy Dalton is better than Dak, you're going to have to ask Andy to do what you were asking Dak to do. Okay. You can't ask a man that says, okay, I want you to go lift 1,000 pounds and then go ask a man to lift 200 pounds and say, well, the guy that lifted 200 is stronger than the guy that you asked to lift 1,000. Okay. So if you're not going to ask Andy Dalton to do exactly what you ask Dak Prescott to do, how can you definitively say to Andy, so they start running the football, they win some games, you know what's going to happen, Skip. They're not going to look at the, the offensive change somewhat because now they're relying on Zeke their owning time of possession they were just see I told you Andy don't I wouldn't have paid Dak either okay C can he play a little cleaner than Dak played in the last two games because I remind you against the Browns early on the balls on the carpet right. right and against the Giants the New York football Giants early on it's off Zeke's hands pick six <laughs> yeah. okay you just can't do it because no. you're you're going to lose right inevitably most of those games you're gonna lose yeah you can't you can't turn the football over when your defense is struggling you can ill afford to give up points on your off when you have the in your possession yep I saw my defense at least give me a few flashes of hope <laughs> on Sunday and I told you for what is worth pro football focus in its weekly all pro team put three people for my defense on its first Team All Pro, three people. That's that's shocking. Alden Smith, and Demarcus Lawrence, uh, Lawrence and Jalen Smith, and Jalen, and Jalen was flying around. Yeah, maybe maybe the best he's flown around as a Dallas Cowboy. Well, you 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 right. might you might get a, a, a the guy you got back Vander Ish. Maybe, and they said Randy Gregory has been terrorizing in practice. He can't play this week, but he can play at Washington next week. I'm just saying, maybe it comes back to life a little bit. Okay. Maybe he, Andy Dalton, the real AD in, in Dallas. Oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, the go. real AD. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. The real AD. Hey, well, now we got two top five. No, we don't have no, to. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Andy Dalton can game manage, play a little cleaner, make throws when you have to make them because... His weapons are at least what he had early in Cincinnati, oh, and maybe, maybe maybe a little better. beyond. Yeah, yeah. His running back is easily the best running yeah. back he's had, and he had some pretty good ones. Yeah. Cedric Benson right. was pretty good, but he wasn't this guy. Right. Okay? The offensive line is decimated to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But I think when you're decimated, I think you can run block better than you can pass you block. You absolutely can. Okay? So maybe they run it. Maybe they just say we're going to stick with the run and maybe we'll we'll get thwarted for a while, but we'll keep banging away until we start to get and you some wanna, You're going to want to run it, Skip, because you don't want to put Andy Dalton back there behind that offensive line. Yep. That's struggling 40 attempts a game, 45 attempts a game, because if something you get him nicked, yep. look who your next two guys are, Skip. And okay. you're not winning with those two guys. So... Guess who has almost the easiest schedule left on, on just records of, of uh, the, the remaining games? The Cowboys are just a couple of percentage points behind the Raiders as easiest remaining schedule. They do have the Steelers at home. The Steelers now 4-0, as mm -hmm. you know. And they do have to go to Baltimore on a Thursday night. Baltimore is 4-1. Other than that, you got a real shot to win every other game. And guess what's happened, Skip? When teams look at their schedule like, oh, man, we got Dallas. That's an easy thing. They're looking at Dallas like you're looking at that schedule and you're looking at those other teams. Those other teams are looking at your Cowboys the exact same way. It's like, yeah. Are they? Yeah. Looking are, at you like that butter cake at Mastro's. Are DBs looking at butter cake at Mastro's? Or are they saying, CeeDee Lamb? I'm an offensive guy. Michael Gallup? I'm like an offensive I'm guy. Amari Cooper? I'm like, those guys. I got to tackle Zeke 30 times a game? Ugh. First of all, they, I'm looking at your defense. Mm. And they said, those guys couldn't cover mm. a full-size bed with a king-size sheet. So I'm looking at your defense. Your defense is terrible. Randy Gregory, Alden Smith, <laughs> okay. Demarcus Lawrence, okay. D-Law laying down the okay, law. Okay, D-Law. Yeah, okay, now D-Law, he back now. He had a sack for his mm -hmm. uh, scoop and score, yep. and now he back. Jalen Smith. He Aaron Donald now. Yep. Lake he Miles Garrett. Okay. okay. Earl you, Thomas. You Maybe got, they will sign Earl. You got to tackle a Dutchman mm. back, yeah. but how long? For how long, Skip? Mm. Wolf hunter. He's <laughs> okay. going to be hunting him some wolves. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Tyler!
Yeah. Right, why don't you guys pass it up to this one? <laughs> Apparently, Tom Brady admitted that he is actually in awe of Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> What, what exactly did he mean by this? Oh, and by the way, Michael Vick will join us. After this. <laughs>